Hello everyone, this is a very quick tutorial as how to create an Ubuntu instance on EC2. Um, when you log in, you go to the dashboard, simply go ahead and click on EC2 icon right here. Right from here uh, is where you start uh, creating your instance. Uh, definitely you can pick a different location. In this case, I want to take Canada Central. Uh, so I want to create the instance in that region. Uh, then you need to go ahead and click on launch instance. Now, there are a few ways of finding the uh, the image we want, the Ubuntu image we want. Um, I, I can simply search all these things if I need to, or I can go ahead and go to community uh, uh, section, uh, select Ubuntu. And the one we want to install is 14.4, uh, 64 bit. Uh, so I simply click on the select. Uh, I will pick the free tier. Uh, so this is free for one year. Uh, I go ahead and click on review and launch. Uh, I'll go as is. I'm not touching anything yet. Uh, so I just go ahead and click on launch. Now here what happen is in order to be able to connect to the instance that you're creating right now, uh, you need a key pair. Uh, you either have one that you have created before or you can create a new one. Uh, so I'll go ahead and create a new one, uh, create a new pair. I'll give a name to this one. Uh, I'll call it uh, 2144COMP. Uh, uh, I simply go ahead and click on download the key pair. I save it somewhere. I'll oh, just save it in the doc document for now. You have to keep this one in a safe place. Uh, you have to have it at, the, at all times that you need to connect to your instance uh, because uh, there is no username and password per se to connect. You got to use this key to connect to your instance through the uh, SSH. So now I'll go ahead and click launch. Okay, your instance has been created. I'll go ahead to view instance. Uh, it's pending as uh, initialization. Uh, so right after uh, this is finished, you simply ha can have the IP address right here or the name that you can refer to. Uh, we'll just pause uh, the video until the instance is uh, ready uh, to work on. So now that the instance is running, um, this is the IP address that we are using to access uh, the server or uh, the DNS, whichever you prefer to log in. Uh, uh, if, if we want to run Apache on this instance and uh, we want to be able to access the Apache through HTTP, uh, uh, what we have to do is we've got to do a, a modification on the security group. Uh, so you can simply go ahead and create, uh, click on security group right in here, or you can go from view inbound rules, we, uh, sorry, launch a wizard. Okay, now that the server is running, uh, uh, I can access the server via this IP address or this DNS name. Uh, if, if I want to install Apache and I want to access the Apache to report 80, I'm going to do a, a modification on security group. I can either access the security group uh, option on the left menu or I can just simply click and launch uh, wizard one. So if I go here, uh, I can go ahead and click on edit. You see SSH is already a, a enabled. I can go ahead and add a rule. Uh, I will go ahead and select HTTP if I can find. Uh, here it is. And I just do a save. Now that I've done that, everything should be okay. And uh, when I install Apache, I should be able to access it through port 80 on the same IP address. Thank you for watching and have a good day.